What if Point Lookout had been a Fallout 4 DLC? And can I 100% it? Sit back, relax and enjoy the show cause it's going to be a long and thorough one. And some things that you might want to know before we begin are that Fallout 4 Point Lookout, as a mod, is a complete and faithful recreation of my favorite Fallout 3 DLC. It's also very immersive, as a few lines of dialogue have been slightly altered to fit the sole survivor. Nothing absurd or out of place, just enough to make it feel like a fit to this entry of the series. Oh, and here's a list of what it features, which fortunately does include a new settlement workshop. This mod is also free, it's on Nexus Mods and the link will be in the description below. Anyways, let's begin. A riverboat has docked at the coast of the Atlantic, carrying trade from the distant peninsula of Point Lookout. The captain offers passage to any mercenary, treasure hunter or adventurer looking to explore the new land. And as such, we're now tasked to go and investigate the area south of South Boston High School, where riverboat landing will be located. There's also this note that you get from starting the quest. Greetings from Point Lookout, straight from the land of warm beaches and luscious wetlands comes the Duchess Gambit, the finest vessel on the east coast piloted by Tobar the Ferryman, and to the hungry masses of the Commonwealth he brings the hearty panga fruit, a delicious and nutritious addition to your daily meal. Its tangy taste is the most refreshing meal in the world. Find the panga fruit at your local merchant now or buy straight from the source at the Duchess Gambit. Now docked south of the castle. Special bonus, hey adventurers! Itching to find Point Lookout's treasures for yourself? Talk with Tobar to book passage to this land of mystery. And in Riverboat Landing we meet... Catherine. You! Are you going to Point Lookout? I need your help! My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her. But if you're going there, could you look for her? Please. I'll do anything to help. No promises, but maybe. Oh, bless you. Her name is Nadine, and she left a couple weeks ago. Said she wanted to see the world, silly thing that she is. That Tobar said he dropped her off at Point Lookout. But who knows what's happened to her since then? I don't know if you can convince my little Nadine to come back. But just give her this note from me, would you? Let's see, my darling little Nath. I know life wasn't always the best at home and we've had a few rough winters. I don't blame you for running off to find something better. At your age, you think you're wasting away at home while the world's just waiting for you to come and get it. When I was about your age, I ran off from my mom too. And even though... There were some terrible things along the way it ended with me having you, so I can't complain. I just wish you could have seen your grandmother. I wish I had a chance to see her again myself. If you're reading this, I just want you to know that you're always welcome back home. Please, learn from my mistake and don't stay away forever. Missing you, kisses and hugs, mom. Welcome, my friend. I am Tobar the Ferryman and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. We're just back from Point Lookout, but it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? Obviously, Tobar. You look like a woman who's been around the waist, so I'll cut right to it. In Point Lookout, you'll find fresh-grown food, mysterious locales, and treasures as of yet unlooted. But keep your wits about you, because there's more than a few exotic critters and inhospitable locals. So stay here if you're too dainty to rough it. Say, Tobar. Would you happen to know where a girl named Nadine is? Ah, Nadine. Sprightly little tomboy with more curiosity than common sense, that one. Caused so much trouble on the trip that I probably would have thrown her overboard if she hadn't reminded me of myself at her age. Haven't seen her since we hit land at Point Lookout. But knowing her, I'll bet she's gotten herself into plenty of trouble. <laughs> That's not the most encouraging thing we've heard. You should have seen her back in her heyday. Why, we traveled up and down the coast from the Commonwealth to the Broken Banks. Good times. But these days she's not fit to take out to the coast. Too many spouts ready to drown her and too many critters looking for lunch. But the Point Lookout run is good enough for now. We've got a sweet deal ferrying cargo and the occasional traveler. And speaking of travelers, we're gonna have to buy a ticket. Looking for fame and fortune? Hoping to cultivate the delicious punga fruit? 
or just looking to run away from your life on these dreary shores. He's such a salesman. Let's see how good the panga is. Okay. Not bad. How about the tickets? Nearly 400. Once you got a ticket, just head into the cabin, settle in on the cot. We'll be there in no time. Bro, that's expensive. And we're ready, so... I'm ready now, just into the cutscene. Let's go. We're finally in Point Lookout. <sighs> Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine, weather nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all the smoke I saw on the way in. <laughs> that light. Things burn down all the time, especially around me. Oh, it's smoke, all right. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And where there's fire, there's profit to be made from selling an extinguisher. That smoke's coming from the old Calvert mansion. I always heard it was haunted. But more importantly, I always heard it was full of pre-war treasure. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it is a rare day when you get a beacon like that. Now, before we set off, I'm pretty sure he can recommend some map markers. Depends what you're looking for. If you need supplies, head to the shop over at the end of these docks. It's convenient, and I get caps for referring you. If you need a place to stay, there's an old motel further into town. The beds there are still pretty soft, even if it is because they're full of lice. And if you're looking for some hunting, there's a fellow named Plick that runs a club out in the northeast. Strictly high rollers, though. I'm gonna be doing every single main quest, every single side quest, every single unmarked quest. That locker is part of a quest, and now let's go and meet... Ah, what's her name? Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue. The Panada! told me that I have something you need. It is upon you to select. Well. Okay. <laughs> well, hello there, young traveler. The fates had told me that I would receive a visitor today. Oh, but I'm being rude. I am Madame Panada, and this is Madame Panada's house of wares. For all things a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Bullets, stim packs, armor, weapons, junk. If you need it, Madame Panada has already anticipated your need and procured it months ago. Ma'am, you speak a lot. I knew that's why you came to me. No, no, that's not, that's not why. I just want to see if you have anything special. Like a unique weapon. Standard ammo, good amount of junk, bobby pins, a good amount of eight items. None of the apparel seems legendary. There's a couple of unique things, but... Eh, I like my stuff better, so how about weapons? Time bomb... Axe... Double barrel... It's probably different. Okay, never mind, I'm good. And now we know. Yeast... I think there's gonna be a quest that's gonna require... This, fishing batteries, and panga. Also, this is from Nuka World, the asset. Oh, I could have brought some tokens. Ah, uh, never mind that. It's fine. Ah, oh, so many options. I'm gonna go to every single location. So where do we begin? Maybe... the bank? We will have to come back a couple times. But it's right here, so let's just get some loot. The only thing we're gonna have to deal with are red roaches, so that's absolutely fine. But we're... We might start a quest over here, I'm not sure. Ooh, typewriter and telephone. That could be useful for settlement building. I'll just take the money, though. And let's see if there's anything useful in the terminal. People's Bank of Point Lookout. Security updates. In compliance with our parent company, Isla Negra Holdings, we are installing a new security system for our safety deposit customers. In addition to conventional tumbler locks, the new system will offer a keyless voice recognition lock alternative. Tellers are asked to encourage both existing and new safety deposit customers to sign up for this new service. National Security Update All tellers are reminded to be on the lookout for any customers attempting to exchange foreign currency. 
Civil Defense has asked us to be especially vigilant of customers possessing Chinese Yuan notes. Should you encounter such a customer, trigger the silent alarm and attempt to delay the customer without arousing their suspicion. Shift Close Notes Several large sum wire transfers today. We need to notify the feds in the AM. <laughs> Morning. You'll need to replenish large bills. Payday is coming up. Another complaint about the voice activated locks in the safety deposit room. Dorothy came in to fetch Burns' will and we couldn't get the box open because his voice was the only one configured for authorization. I figure is a long shot, but I told Dorothy to go home and see if she has any holotapes. Or such of burn talking. We might get lucky and fool the lock into opening if we play it back in there. Let's see if we can get any loot. Okay, that's a lot. Good rounds, some good money, buff out. Now, the room in question. Welcome to Bankcom Secure Teller. Vocal authorization requested. Can I try? Maybe there's something to my voice. The password is... Cheese? Processing. Processing. Go on. Voice ID or password not recognized. Access denied. Aw. Worth a try, though. Wanted. Person of interest. One young, suspected communist and Chinese sympathizer has been reported in the vicinity of Point Lookout. Agent Yang may be operating under an alias and are using a disguise. You are required to report any suspicious persons or behavior to Lieutenant Kremfold at the US Naval Office located at the 1811 St. Mary's branch. Now, locations, locations, and let's start with the Homestead Motel, room 1D, where a couple things are waiting for us. I'll get that ammo and everything else worth looting to be quite exact, but the locker key is one of them. And let's investigate the terminal. Oh, Stealth Boy! With the Fallout 3 texture! Nice. Welcome to USA, Dr. Jung. Contact tape added. I apologize that I cannot receive you in person, Agent Jung. Our Norfolk contact confirms your arrival. How eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defect. Our countrymen will herald you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe house in Point Lookout. Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not arouse suspicion. When it's safe, use the key you were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with the password you'll need to access your mission dossier. You need something, Agent Jung. Now, there's something I know, because I played Point Lookout for the first time in January. A couple months ago, so... Cryptochromatic Spectacles. There's also another couple rooms for us to investigate, but one of them just has... Generic loot. The other one, though, this one, has something a little special, and I don't just mean... <laughs> whatever this is supposed to represent. It's probably just a very artistic project. Anyway, there's moonshine, a lot of weird sculptures. But the one cool thing that I'd like to show you is... Da -da -da, the pint-sized slasher mask. I'll take it. I'm not gonna use it, but I want it. And since we started the velvet curtain, let's just go to the locker where the spy's audio password is. So, to the bank. Go to the bank and use password Xintianwen. The software is configured to recognize only our voices. And that's how we get the espionage debriefing holotape. So once again, let's take a listen. Agent Zhang, as you know, an important Chinese surveillance vessel was lost in American waters. Your mission is to destroy derelict submarine SS 9371A before the Americans can recover and analyze it. The recovery location is included in this dossier, and your cover ensures that the Americans will allow you access to their recovery operation. However, you will need an authorization code to trigger the self-destruct sequence. One of our field operatives in your area, Agent Yang, has these codes hidden in a dental capsule, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Locate and rendezvous with Agent Yang, then destroy the submarine. Report to your safe house for extraction information when the mission is complete. The will of the people protect you, Agent Yang. 
Okay, guess we can go and find some more clues. Next stop, the Naval Recruiting Center. <laughs> it says something above the door and another in the door. Okay, so more roaches. Oh no, so hard. <laughs> Mini Duke. Okay, let's see. Field report on the capture and transfer of Agent Yang. Local community informants provided intelligence leading to the capture and arrest of a priority person of interest, Wan Yang, as known as Five Claw Dragon. That's a cool name. Yang is on file with DIA as a Chinese intelligence field agent, operating within America and Canada over the past decade. Yang has been transferred to Turtle Dove Detention Camp for interrogation. Our office so far has declined comments to press and diplomats. Please have DOD re relations advice regarding a public statement. Bulletin. Attention citizens of Point Lookout. One Yang, suspected communist and Chinese sympathizer, has been reported in the vicinity of Point Lookout. Agent Yang may be operating under an alias and are using a disguise. You are required to report any suspicious persons or behavior to Lieutenant Kremfolds. Known aliases Jamie Patrick, Maria Lopez, Stanley Derrick, Five Claw Dragon. And just like in Fallout 3, we have a picture. Oh, that looks even better. Which is not hard, to be honest. Now, Ophi Clan plot. And even the ghouls were redone to fit Fallout 3. Wow, I wasn't expecting that much attention to detail. Also, this location is very good for a simple reason. Not the grave, though. There's just a lot of wild panga around. Now, disaster relief outpost. There's four tents and only two matter. So there's a bit of lore on this one. And there's a certain someone on another. And the other two just have some generic loot to them. Unit mission parameters. Evaluate medical and social needs of local populace. Raise awareness on health risks and provide aid on a local need basis. Assist with Federal Fitness Registry Compliance Program. Volunteers must always uphold the standards of the Collective Benevolence Program in public and private. New Plague Public Information. The New Plague and you know the signs. Safeguard yourself and your community by knowing how to identify a person suffering from the New Plague. Common symptoms include Profuse sweating, unexplained contusions or swelling, massive external hemorrhaging, and new ideals, such as socialism. I'll just cherry-pick the best ones. The new plague is what's commonly known as a social disease. This means that the new plague is especially contagious and can be commonly caught in the course of social interactions, such as ice cream socials, carousing Main Street, promiscuous activity or sodomy, attending fairs or festivals. <sighs> I can't get over the fact that Three quarters of the symptoms were because they were beat up. Anyways, that's everything that matters. So, let's go and meet Marcella. Lots of people out there, but too few trustworthy. Excuse me. Greetings, child. I'm Marcella, missionary and student of the faith. How are you? Doing pretty well, thank you. What do you mean by faith? A cult? No, not exactly. I'd be happy to tell you more about my beliefs if you're interested. I can't say that I am, but go on, shoot. Would you like me to recite some scripture, or did you just want to know more about the faith? Go on, Joshua. You know you want to do it, so might as well. Scripture. The word is told in the Bible. Would you like to hear a verse? Sure, why not? Let's see what you come up with. I'm afraid I don't have a copy of the scripture with me, but I can share a few passages. Here's one of my favorites. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed over from death to life. Okay, how about we uh, change the topic? What else did you want to discuss? Well, I just want to see if you have a quest. And Would you like me to recite some scripture or did you just want to know more about the faith? <sighs> Seems like you don't. What's your mission? We try to improve the state of the wasteland by doing good where we can, and by spreading the word of the Bible. We also recover and restore religious relics that we can find, but that's a secondary goal. Looky here! What did I find? A tracker. Hello, buddy. I knew I heard something! Did you, though? Did you? Oh, you look so cool. 
but don't touch me though. Okay, you're bulky. Oh, really? That's what I'm gonna be dealing with? I brought my best weapons. I mean, I'm using the second best one, but that's because I love it. Oh, a bruiser as well. You're doomed, buddy. Oh, I like them so much. Go on, go on, go on. One more. Yeah. Oh, he has jets. Love me some jets. I know I don't use it much, but it's my favorite cam. Dove Delta. I'm gonna need a shovel, and we're gonna need to find the one thing that's by the tree, which is the crappiest treasure ever. But that's how it is in the original as well, though. The Foot Locker is buried on the island with a single tree in the Dove Delta. Be careful. I peppered the area with a bunch of fake mounds just in case the Hughes gang finds the location. And now Black Hole Manor. And it even has the weird creepy dolls. Lovely. Okay, so let's meet the man that's gonna give us our second side quest. And we can probably finish this one quite soon. Keep your distance. What are you doing in my house? Honestly, I was just sightseeing. Place looked abandoned. You're in Black Hall Manor. This isn't a tourist attraction. But I appreciate your good taste. Come, let's talk. And what would you, well, uh, like to talk about? Oh, he does have crutches in here. I don't think there were any in Fallout 3. Hey. Good, good. People should be able to sit and have a conversation. Especially in times like these. Civil discourse, the greatest of our lost arts. Wouldn't you agree? Honestly, couldn't agree more. I'm glad you think so. Conversation is but one of the virtues that separates us from cretins like those swamp folk. Swamp folk who, I should mention, absconded with a book. A precious family heirloom. I wanted to ask you, friend. Will you get it back? A fetch quest made by Bethesda? Good. Yeah! The fools who stole it believe it has powers, so the thing is probably well guarded. There's a ritual site east of the boardwalk, in the basement of a ruined house. I think you'll find it there. Bring it back to me, and be paid. And he does pay well. A thousand cups. What else do you want to discuss? Well, the fact that you started walking when I thought you couldn't on Fallout 3, for example, but not the place, not the time. Oh, there's someone coming. Hey? Hey, Marcella? Wait a moment. I need to know. Has Obadiah sent you in search of a book? How would you know that? I thought as much. Listen to me very carefully, child. You mustn't bring it to him. That book is known as the Krivbekne, and it's a thing of evil purpose. Krivbekne. Krivbekne. Oh, I can yes, say it too. the Krivbekne. No. The Black Hall family has a long, evil history with the book. It was lost to them long ago, but it's found a way back to Point Lookout and Obadiah seeks to reclaim it. Okay, tell you what. If I do get it, I'll consider it. I ask no more. You can find me at my tent on the beach, south of Black Hall. God bless your path, child. There's no way I'm gonna give it to you. And before we go and get it, let's just get some more locations, because like I said, I want every single one of them. Just like the original... Or the original achievement. That's a cool machine, in the style of Fallout 3. What else do we have? Gas canister could be useful for the settlement. Haley's hardware. Now, I don't remember there being much in here, really, other than him being a merchant. Well, hello there! Welcome to, uh, welcome to Haley's Hardware, where we have hardware. <laughs> you nervous or something? No, no, not at all. I'm just not used to people all the way out here. My usual customers, well, I usually smell them before I see them. So, who are your usual customers? The weirdos? The swamp folk, mostly. I guess they don't bother me none because I was born here. They mostly trade meat and fruit, never any cash or goods. Them mercs are good for some trade in real hardware. So if and you need ammo or anything like that, I can help you out. Oh, cool. Swamp folks shoot at me on sight, but they come here to trade. I found some of it. Some was here when I got here. I get some from them smugglers. And every once in a while, that weirdo with the boat comes up here and trades a few good things. 
I suppose you're not gonna have anything sure useful. Thing. Are you here to buy something? Depends. Do you have anything worth buying? Look around. It's all here. Hmm. Okay, so you do have ammo. Radiation suit could be useful. Some cams. And that's about it. I get minigun. Not that I'm gonna need it. Yeah, okay, it's not that bad. Another location, the USS Ozymandias. Which is completely different, but just in a matter of design. And this is gonna trigger another side quest, so mission parameters. Baishi Energy Partners has authorized natural gas survey project that to perform field research. Private contractor Carolyn Saunders shall be present as principal geological chemist on behalf of Baishi Natural Gas Company. And she's gonna have to take a couple soil samples, which actually we're gonna have to do that. Anyways, this is the Beachview campsite and there should be an enemy here. One of the swamp folk, there you are. Scrapper, a bit farther away than I found you on game. But we're not gonna go to Calvert Mansion now, I'm gonna do every single side quest and then mark quest and find every single location too as well first. And the ritual site is just between the beach view thingy and Haley's hardware, so let's go get that book, shall we? Yeah, not interested in that legendary equipment, but let's go to the basement and in that altar we're gonna find the Kriv Beckner. Anything useful? Three steam packs, I'll take them. Ceremonial lectern. Yeah, I'll take the Kriv Beckner. Oh, I'm so proud I can say it. It looked so weird the first time I read it. <laughs> I know, it's a weird flex, I'm sorry. I just really like this DLC, okay? Now let's get ready for the ambush. We should be fighting several of them. I'm only seeing two, but let's not fool ourselves. There's gonna be way more. Yeah. Couple more showing up. I gonna need some steamies. Fortunately, I have lots of them. So let's go. Yeah, you have no business being that strong, but whatever. I can manage. There we go. There's also a creeper behind him. See, this one is way, way easier. Oh, come on, don't... You don't block a knife with your elbow, okay? A brawler. <laughs> the book. You found it. Quickly, give it to me. Uh, the book, right? You, you can have the book. Yes, yes, of course. Here's your errand fee. Now give it to me. Oh, don't say it like that. The Dark Heart of Black Hole completed, but we're not done here. You shouldn't be here. Get out of my home. Don't be so mean. Also, why are you, why are you sitting there? Also, really? You like astrology for men? Don't play at what you misunderstand, Troglodyte. Get out. It's a joke. It's a joke. I was thinking about the Zodiac. Wouldn't you like a... A crutch buddy. No? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't uh don't crucify me. I know that the occult is not the zodiac for men. I know. I know. And seriously, buddy, wouldn't you like a crutch? Cause I'm still salty, making an amazing joke on the follow three video. And uh, then it makes no sense, cause you can walk after all. Our business is at an end. Leave this place. Or what? Let me just take the buff out. And <clears throat> You shouldn't be here. Get out of my home. You know, you could just hide the bodies in the river, right? We are nothing alike. More so than you could ever comprehend. Go now, and never return. Will do, but before I do that... Ah, there's a book I'd really like to uh, get. Whoa, why? Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, whatever. To Marcella. Uh, legendary smuggler? Okay. Goodbye, buddy. Wait, that's the legendary one, so... All of them are just gonna be one shot, and I have blitz, so... Distance is not a, a worry for my melee build. And she's a goner. Safe key, though. I'll take it. Five steam packs. Mm. What else? Another, another three steam packs. Okay. I thought I had brought plenty, now I'm thinking I didn't need to bring a single one. Let's see, last words. <coughs> they attacked 
while I slept. I... I don't expect to survive. I only pray that you haven't taken that book to Obadiah. You must take up my mission. There is one way to utterly destroy the Kriv Bekne, but you must take a pilgrimage far north of Point Lookout in the Commonwealth. Seek a place called Dunwich. Within is an obelisk, itself a wicked thing. It'll consume the book. You need only press the book to its surface. May God shed his blessings upon you, child. Make haste to Dunwich. My God, I am sorry for all my sins with all my heart, in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good. I have sinned against you, whom I should. Now, uh, Dunwich is already cleared, but we will do that. It's just all the fancy creepy stuff has already happened. And Margaret's shack. You know, the one where we're gonna need yeast, fission batteries, and a lot of punga. Yeah! Sorry, buddy. Bye bye. Oh, he has moonshine. That's very intriguing. Considering what we're about to do in the Moonshiner Shack, actually, Marguerite, so... Oh, and, uh, I don't know what happened, but... You finding your way around, sweetie? Yeah. <clears throat> you ain't have the look of a local, young lady. Think you could help a sick woman get on the mand? You're sick? Wait, the new play? I it's the orange fever. I... I do feel light in my head. Oh, fortunately, I'm a medic and that doesn't exist. So... Go on. We know you're faking. Well, uh... Oh, fine. Maybe you're no hogs, fool, but I reckon we both come out better if you can help me cook up some tonic. Sure can. What do you need? Secret family technique. Been so for generations. Help me brew some up by gathering ingredients. I'll share the batch to make it worth your while and sweeten the deal with 300 caps. Okay, but what is it really? Tell you what. Have a bit. This is left over from an old batch, but should be a swig or two in there. More than enough to loosen you up, I wager. I'll bite, oh, really? and I'll give you the three Just ingredients good. you need. If a sight weaker for flavor. Also, your stand could be fixed, right? Could it now? I suppose you'd know how to see to that, wouldn't you? Sure would. Let's say a hundred caps. I reckon I can scrape that together. Go ahead, and do what you can for it. Will do. So we're gonna need... Oh, chemist too. Okay. <laughs> that was unexpected. So, Marguerite. Hi. Thanks for mending the steel, sweetie. Here's your pay. Thank you. How about the tonic? Brewing low and slow, sweetie. Process takes about a day. Why don't you come back in a piece? Plenty of locations. Let's go. Trash heap. I think it has a safe. Frog leg. That's new. Right? Right? Anyway, expert lock. Sweet. Two jets, medex, mantats, right away. Eh, not too shabby. Ah, that's what I was looking for. Mini Duke. That's it, though. And this unmarked location is where we are gonna find one of the first soil samples. So let me just take care of the re verse, including the glowing one. That's also completely remade. Oh, it's so... Seamless, you can barely notice some of the recreations they've done, which were a lot more than you realize when just going in. Oh, right, and there's gonna be three holotapes, but I'm gonna do this in a probably weird order. So we're gonna listen to the three holotapes once I get all three. I think that's for the best. So, Little Tyke Playhouse. I don't think that there's anything special on this one. <laughs> Unless I've missed it twice, it's just a... Cool location, I guess? Oh, there you go, buddy. I mean, we could... After exploring the swamps of Point Lookout, you have observed the swamp folk. Blah, blah, blah. Plus five damage. And yeah, like I was saying, the swing. Now, the flooded sinkhole. Which is gonna have, like, a couple saves. The sinkhole is underwater. By the way, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps with the algorithm and, uh... I'd love to turn this into a part-time instead of a hobby, so... <laughs> Safes. Let's see, the first one is a novice one, and what do we have? 
Ooh, big bag of nothing. Ooh, ooh. Some eight items, but how about the other one? It's also novice. A <laughs> five bottle uh, stealth boy. Okay, and trapper shack. Just gonna have to go through the swamp folk. Creeper. Oh, he's strong, strong. Okay. There we go, though. Two of them, but the other one is a wimp. <laughs> Let me just heal 96 stim packs. That's just how good this one is going. My man, this is beyond ridiculous, but it's so good, because that means... I mean, the enemy scale. Oh, this could be such a fun challenge on early levels. Or if not, at least uh, bring no items and use whatever you find within it. Yeah. Oh, come on, don't, don't start. <sighs> I get when melee blocks me, but unarmed? No, no. In fact, if you block me when I'm doing unarmed, I should just get double damage. Oh, right, right, right. I remember this, but just gotta take care of this swamp ghoul. And uh, apparently, those psychos had a little show for themselves. There's also that bat claw hand, which I don't need. And welcome to the spectacle, I guess, because we can open the gate between them and watch them fight. Although, with the proximity between them, they can already inflict damage either way. Now, as much as this seems like it's just for show... No, no, there's two safes. It's just paranoia. They're trying to keep people from not getting to those safes, so... Let's just get the Swamp Lord to do its thing. Once it's really close, I'll do my thing, and then we'll just go and grab the loot. I think that's fair. Oh, I can teleport in? No. Probably because of Blitz, I wonder. Maybe without it, I could have. Whatever. Maybe I'm wrong. So, let's just see what do we have. Oh! oh I thought I was safe. Come on. Okay, now it's done. Okay, yeah, ignore them. They, they are not gonna have anything worth it. I'm sure. So the first one is a novice one, and we have a lot of things. Good. Ammo. Bottle caps. No longer need the fishing battery. Nor the money, to be honest, so... Yeah. And the other one is advanced. Sweet. More ammo. Jet. Pre-war money. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, onto the jet crash site. Oh. Chill. Chill. There we go. Okay, so there's just gonna be some more generic loot. I know, I know. It's not the most interesting ever, but... I really wanted to 100% it, and... The people that only care about the main quest, instead of checking how every single location look, are gonna have a timestamp. Unless I forgot, which... If I do, uh, remember me, please. <laughs> okay, yeah, nothing special, but that's fine. Sacred Bog Entrance. Now, that's gonna be extremely important for the main quest. And it has to be inaccessible right now. Right? Let me just... Okay. Yep. Requires key. Except, when someone tells us to go there, we're not gonna need the key. Grower's Shack. There should be swamp folk around... There we go. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> they're farming. Apparently, they're hostile to anything that's from out of point lookout or looks like from the outside. Except Haley. Oh. Oh, and you're one of the tough ones, huh? Fortunately, I have critical bank. Ooh. Holotape. Box. So that's for the bank. Burn. Okay, let's see what the treasure really is. Ah, go on. Oh, there we go. Oh, five pre-war money and sexy sleepwear. Not even gonna touch that. It's been used. How about instead, soil sample number two? Well, actually, it's the third one, but it's my second, so... Now, this should be a location. And there should be a special enemy. I... Ooh! Yeah, unique Yaogwai Ruska. I don't know why I said it in that accent, but it's the only one that feels right, to be honest. No uniques, though. Just a creepy cave with a huge ball and a lot of victims. 
Let's see what we have. Maybe something's worth it. Lots of steam packs, as usual. Lovely. We can take Ruska's ball. I'll take it for sure. As useless as it'll be. And the last soil sample. So we can now go back. Also a suit. Okay. Okay, let's listen. This is Caroline Saunders, Principal Geological Chemist for Fish Natural Gas Survey MD16001. Sample set 1 shows promising concentration of biogas in mostly limestone substratum of wetlands. No exact levels yet, but this site should exhibit more than enough extraction potential to meet survey goals. I'm going to leave a couple of interns here to handle the minutia, but it's a formality. I'll move on to the other sites now to make sure that this isn't an aberration. Consider this my authorization signature on sample site 1. This is Caroline Saunders, Principal Geological Chemist for Fish Natural Gas Survey, MD-16001. Preliminary results from sample site 2 are promising. We're posting similar concentrations as in the first site. Similar biogas makeup here as well, including a few organic compounds that I'm not familiar with. We've also discovered heavy lye residue in a naturally formed chamber at this excavation site. Lucky we were wearing caustic gear to begin with, or somebody might have suffered some serious chemical burns. I'd like to analyze this site further, see if there's any connection between those compounds and the lye deposits. My tech is telling me he needs a couple of hours to work on our ventilator unit. I suppose I'll move on to Site 3 in the meantime. Further analysis is for my own curiosity, anyway. This is my authorization signature on Sample Site 2. What in the world have we tapped into? Sample Site 3 is showing biogas concentration off the charts. Wetland substratum is surprisingly dense limestone at all excavation sites, and we've had no trouble locating naturally formed chambers. This and the dense calcite formation suggest that subterranean water flow has eroded a vast network of caves and grottos throughout the region. Mapping these will be a monumental effort, but necessary to uncover the bounty of natural gas resources captured down here. What I don't understand is the amount of lye residue we're encountering. I'm going to try and touch base with some of my academic contacts and see if we can find any precedent for it. We'll have plenty of time to work that out, though. I've no doubt Vish will want to set up shop here and drill their little hearts out. This is Principal Geological Chemist Caroline Saunders for Fish Natural Gas Survey, MD-16001. Consider this my authorization signature on Sample Site 3. As far as I'm concerned, this is a prime location for biogas harvesting and a treasure trove for some field research. And to USS Ozymandias we go to activate the authorization codes and get the unique loot. Well, it's... I'm just assuming it's gonna be nothing special. At least I don't remember a unique weapon or anything. Though we do have lore. On behalf of the Baishi company, thank you for accepting this contract. You'll be posing as a research intern reporting to principal geologist Carolyn Saunders. Her experience with wetlands excavation makes her the only real suitable candidate. However, Saunders is a known liberal with academic ties. We have only recently acquired excavation rights in the area. We believe that the mass burials of the American Civil War in this region have made the soil ripe for our purposes. Damn! This is the very... Same reason we are apprehensive about Saunders' liberal leanings. Your primary mission is to prevent Saunders from discovering the link between Point Lookout's bloody past and its probable richness in natural biogas resources. Okay, I... okay... That's enough, let's just go to the reward. Access the supplies? Yes. An antique land completed. And what do we have? <laughs> Bio canisters? Radex, Radaway, Maddox... And three radiation suits. I already have one of these. So not the best loot, but once again, that's on par with the original. So let's go back to Marguerite's and get the reward we've been waiting for. Six of Marguerite's moonshine. Don't be a stranger now. Sorry, Marguerite, I have no reason to come back. Now let's visit Truck Wreckage, where we're gonna find one key item so important that I think we never need it but we can use it to fix the lighthouse I know I haven't been there but the point is 
Why are we fixing the lighthouse? I don't know, I played the DLC once. In fact, I played all of them recently, because I never played them before. Anyways, Turtle Dove Detention Camp, we've got a quest to continue. And this one has a lot of sentries, a lot of turrets, and some more enemies on top of that as well, so... Let me just take good care of all of them, so we can safely proceed. Oh, right, yeah, those things explode, because it's Fallout 4. There we go, another one. Right, I think the turret has exploded. Oh, poor thing has no arms. He just wanted a little smooch kiss. Okay, another sentry. And they're not as hot. No. Wait. I'm still alive. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll very much take it. Okay. So, that's the thing with melee builds. Hopefully that can... Go on! Yeah, it did, it did, okay. And funny that the marker just sends me to the morgue instead of to the terminal that has the lore in that building. So let's just ignore that, because if all I'm getting is generic loot, y'all just gonna tell me to F off. Let's be honest. It's how it is. <laughs> oh! Hey, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. All right, I need to heal. Good thing that they aren't really a threat, so... Also, the place is cleared, so we're fine. Mantats... Bobby pin. Another step back, I'll take it. And there. Uh, time to heal. Lovely. And I guess we're ready to go. One young. Take the tooth that has the self-destruct codes. What else do we have? Anything? I know there is something. Okay. Oh, it does open. Weird. And over here, I know there's a fire animation. And that we can leave through the other one. That's still broke. Yep. And am I missing something? Two steam bags. I'll take them. I'll take every single one of them. No complaints whatsoever. Septic tunnel. Let's leave. Nothing here, really. Except that first aid box. And I'll show you the building I was talking about. I mean, there's more buildings, but you get one stealth boy, and the rest is really just generic loot. So, over here you get instructions that are gonna send you to the morgue. That's it. And remember the new settlement? It's called Swampland Farm. It is a completely new location, it's not like they just added a workshop to something that existed, so... Okay, couple uh, swam folk, and we'll see what we have to play with. Although, I will we'll be focusing on the side quests first. In fact, I might just leave this for the end of the video. I'll uh, try and build something nice. And just do the tour of it. Farm shack, we need a key. Okay, so I gotta keep in mind, we're gonna need a key and we're gonna need to... Well, to clear the place. Oh, why were you hiding? Come on, just say hi. Oh, there's a new area as well. So it's not just the, the house, you also have this barn. Okay, are we done? No, uh, the map says no. But I'm not seeing anyone coming after me. So, what's up? There's no one here. Are they trapped in the ground? There's no one flying, so... Oh, you mean the chickens! Really? No collision. So how the hell can I make them diagro? De Tango. Pickles. I mean, cool addition, but... They're aggro. Oh. Time to finish that Velvet Something quest. And go to the sub-recovery site. Let me just see if there's anything worth it in the ship. No? Okay. So to the sub it is. And we're not that far off from finishing every single side quest. Not gonna lie, it's taking a bit more than I expected. In fact, I expect uh, the main quest to be slightly shorter than this. But that's alright, it's an amazing mod. And I know, I know, it's like two years old, but I never tried it before. But let's not rant. We've got an explosion to see, so... Uh, right, I have to activate it in the other end of the ship, so let's do exactly that. 
just gotta make the run for it. I don't think we're on a timer, but we win the alarm and knowing what's gonna happen. You know? Okay. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It was still cool to look at. Now into the lighthouse. Which is gonna be one of the locations for the last bits of the main quest, but that bulb goes in here. And can we... Oh, we can! In the... In Fallout 3 we cannot. Well, not at this time, and interestingly, the smuggler's shack is an unmarked location on this one. Okay, so... What exactly were they smuggling? Ammo? Ooh, an expert one. Why? What do you have? Oh, just some 308! Really? That's what you're smuggling? And the first aid kit. Okay, let's continue with the quest. Back to room 1D. Extraction details. We get some more info, but the main key is to use the cryptochromatic spectacles, and that's gonna be in Calvert Mansion's garden. So let's keep exploring. Ark and Dove resting grounds. There's another location, the cathedral, I think. But I'm so close to it that I don't really need that map marker. As the main quest is gonna take us there, whether I want to or not, so... Let me just take care of the ghouls. Oh, we can level up. And my build is great already, so let's just ignore it and go to other locations, like... A map marker that's gonna be useful for the main quest. And then we're gonna go to another side quest itself. So the wrecked sea tub, it has nothing to it. It has some lurks. We're just gonna have to go back there. But the Coastal Grotto is gonna have a little something for us to do. And that's our man, but first let's see what we can get in terms of loot. Blix Journal. It has observations and insights. And it grants us plus five damage towards ghouls, so I'll take it. Hi, Roller. Coming through. So what do you have for me, Blick? Hey. Welcome. Welcome to my extraordinary safari. Shall we get you registered? Uh, for what exactly? Only the finest bit of sport you've ever enjoyed. Once we review the rules and see to a nominal thousand caps registration fee, of course. A thousand? Ah, fine. Fine. I found that price keeps the riffraff out. You aren't riffraff now, are you? Nice manipulation. That's the spirit. The other participants are waiting. So just press the button inside to let me know when to begin. Let's see that sport. Blix Safari. Enter the arena. And it's time to fight a lot of ghouls. Let's just meet the crew. To make friends. Okay. Warmest regards. Okay as well. Let's begin. What was that? <coughs> what was that? Maybe it's an entourage of ghouls that's gonna take around two to three minutes. So let me just show you how it goes, a couple rounds, and then we'll uh move on from it. And holy I need to pay attention. Thank god for that perk. <laughs> really need to heal. And oh uh Damn. I, uh, Rip Smitty is no longer amongst us. But plenty of ghouls still are. It's fine, though. We can do it. And Jacob's still alive. Are we done? We are. So let's go back to Plick. Hey there. Mr. Plick's really outdone himself this time. I believe ya. Anyways. Tremendous showing. I do hope the experience was worth every cap. Let's commemorate your first safari with a token of our friendship, shall we? This axe was, uh, misplaced by one of my other patrons. She won't be needing it anymore, and it's a weapon of gruesome distinction. Enjoy it. And that rewards us with the dismemberer. A unique weapon. 80% chance to dismember. And Mr. Flick, I'm sorry, but I like my money back. There's also an unmarked quest in Herzog Mine. Although... Yeah, the voice acting in this one apparently isn't done. 
Oh, but the sound effects are. Okay. No worries. It is what it is. It is a huge project. And, uh, what happened? And I'm enjoying it a lot. So I guess we're fine. Scrapper. Oh. There y'all is. <laughs> Let me just take care of you. And there's a little someone we're gonna have to go and meet. There we go. Now, Kenny. Kenny is not voiced. But he wants us to find his teddy bear. And if we do, he lets us use the place as a safe house. Not a settlement, but a safe house. So let's just go to the next area. Fall down this shaft, whatever you want to call it. And the teddy bear is right there. Let me just take care of the swamp lurk. There we go. Some steam packs and Kenny bear. Hello. Now we're just gonna have to make our way back through a couple swamp lurks and Kenny's gonna be real happy about Kenny Bear. With that done, we leave through the stairs so we can have a new location. Kenny's cave. By the way, I haven't found the key or the last enemy, so I'm guessing that's a bug. So using console commands, we can come in and that's when I realized that this is its own settlement. Ah, that's lovely. So this works just like home plates, but the outside is just like a regular settlement. But that's something for the end of the video, not right now. In fact, just before I go to Culvert Mansion to finish the last side quest, let's go to Dunwich Borers, which, like I said, I have cleared the place before, it's been so long ago, that it's now repopulated by generic enemies, so let me just take care of these ghouls. And right there is the obelisk. Let's go and burn that damned book. And huh, I thought there were only four skulls on the original. Could be wrong though, but yeah. Curve back now. Removed, and I guess we're done. Just being near the obelisk makes you feel uneasy. Okay, I guess that's it. Now, for the last side quest ending, we're gonna have to go to Culvert Mansion use the spectacles and find the right order which is a bitch but i'll get to it so one three two three four four again and two there we go and the secret passage is now open to the bunker and fortunately the protectron this is a hazardous area for your yeah. own safety there's no new lines. That's all. So let's just move on. Gotta push the switch and let's see what happens when the commies get what they want. Extraction debriefing. You've done well to get this far, Agent Jiang. Your payment has been transacted to your next of kin under the pretext of a ration lottery. With deepest regret, however, you're gonna get double crossed, so die. But we can escape and get some Chinese stealth armor, so let's just try and find a place to do so. And there's gonna be that sewer. Well, sorry, it's a, it's a pipe, not a sewer. And with that, the last side quest is completed. And all we have to do to finish the DLC are the main quests. And then we'll do some bit of settlement building. Actually, I'll do it. You'll just get a tour. It's for the best. And it's now finally time for the whole main quest. We've already done everything there is to do, so... So, let's see how this bit holds up and meet Desmond. You, you're no tribal. Get in here and help me fight these bastards off, goddammit. Also, that reminds me, we still have Nadine to find, but that's related to the main quest, so... There is more for us to do. But one thing at a time. For now, we gotta help Desmond. So, how many tribals? None. Oh, there you were. Three. Oh, that's it. You've got two invincible dogs. And you need me to help you. Really? I don't know who you are, but you need to help me if you want to stay alive. Questionable, but okay. Where are you going? Dude. They've been at it all night. I think they're just about to breach the inner walls. Follow me. I'm gonna go check it out. Hey. Over here. Yeah, I'm not deaf or blind. I can see them. Also, they're not that hard. This is gonna be fine. There's gonna be a couple sections we've gotta go through on both 
sides of the mansion. And okay, not even going to address the graphic bug. <laughs> and gee, do we really need this much amount of people? I swear, when you see the cathedral and the amount of people in it, you're gonna realize that we just butchered nearly half, maybe more, of their people. Okay, so there's someone coming, for sure. Nothing unique. Oh, there you are. Can I vats both of you? One down. How about the other? Oh, yeah. Lovely. Okay, so in this room... Okay, now hurry up and see how I know. It looks like an explosion should do the trick. Maybe if there's something explosive near the hole you can shoot. Yeah, I see it. We're also gonna have to do this on the other side of the mansion. And then there's the final fight. And it looks so good on Fallout 4. Let me Her just check my weapon. Hurry and get in here. It looks like they're about to breach from the east wing. To the east wing, then. What the hell? Oh, really? So the door just opens by itself. There's no one right by it. Okay, then. Can't pick this. I'm stuck. Only opens with a key. Why am I stuck? Why is there a loading screen? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, pretend we fall through the floor. It's what should have happened. I don't know if that's simply not in the mud itself, but hey, it just works. Oh, I can see through its head. Kinda, unless... No, maybe it just really, really matched the wall paint. Anyways. Oh, I gotta... I'm gonna have to use the steamy. That's one less way for them to get in. Follow me. I think we're about to get hit hard. Yeah, here they come. Grab all the ammo and stim packs you need. This is gonna be a rough one. Let the show begin! Ow. Okay, so if Desmond's covering that side, I'm gonna go to the other. There we go. Who else wants a little poke? You, kind sir? Sure. Why not? It's on the house. The front door. Get ready. What do you mean, get ready? I was born Wait. ready. Let's go. Okay, gotta be careful with that minigun. Oh, come on, stop blocking. We, we spoke about this. You shouldn't be able to use your elbows to block melee weapons. Oh, and looky here, Mr. Legendary has both a star and a skull. Congrats, Boy Scout, your parents must be very, very proud of you. So, as a reward, why don't we send you over to them in a little black box? Hm? And that should be it. Oh, poor thingies. Oh, I'm so sorry. Should have tried better. So, my hero, huh? Think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time? Yep. Not hardly. Had it all well in hand, and I didn't even need to use the failsafe. But that would have done a real number in some of the paintings. So, just as well you were here. Anyway, name's Desmond. Yeah, yeah, point lookouts, douche number one, I know. No, but you helped me out, and that's something. Can't let you think I'm not a gracious host, can I? So, tell you what I'll do. I'll share a few tips for the next time you're making a dramatic final stand. Ooh, the superior defender perk has been added. You now do more damage and have better defense when standing still. Can I get more training? Oh, there's always a chance, certainly. No. But what you earn depends on how well you can follow directions. You're not the most incompetent waster I've ever met. I think we could put you to work and figure out what's going on here. Your reward would be considerable, since I know that's what you waste as value. Decide. Oh, we can ask him about Nadine. So, Desmond, have you seen her? I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I was still at skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back. But she ran off before I could uh, introduce myself. Oh, where are you going? Why do I not have the op- Did you just step on your dog? Considered my offer, have you? I'm trying to get you to, uh... You need to learn to pay attention when I speak. You're not Those giving me the option. Want me dead. Finally, new dialogue. I haven't extended the <laughs> common fucking courtesy of telling me why. So I need you to find a way into the commune and figure out what's going through their adult little heads. Be a good pup, and old Desmond will give you a treat. And of course, who knows what riches they have for you to steal. 
Punga. All they have is Punga. But sure. Easy peasy. Right about now, they'll be wondering what happened to their hunting party. Ooh, I have to become a tribal, but... Ugh. Wouldn't that ruin my perfect, beautiful what? face? Like you've never done something unpleasant for the promise of your own personal gain. Give it a rest, saint. Just head up to the cathedral and ask real nice. When you're in, you'll find the bastard in charge and find out what they're up to. I just need information. No need for violence. Yet. Oh, I won't even be able to use violence just yet. So the Ark of Cathedral. Who lingers as the threshold of transcendence? Oh, I hate them already. <laughs> I seek the wisdom of What's your peeps. This? A humble traveler seeking the guidance of our awakened minds. Truly, this is a glorious day. You are from far away and must be strong indeed to have traveled this far. But strength is nothing without the guidance of the enlightened mind. If you seek entry, you must be prepared to expand your consciousness. You must prove yourself worthy to transcend. Oh, good lord, they're all yoga instructors. You may not be so brave when you face the ritual of the Mother Seed. Stronger souls than you have attempted it and lost their minds. Venture west to the Great Bog. And within you shall find the mother of all Punga fruit. She stands taller than a man, and her vines guide our future. Collect her seeds and kneel before her wisdom. Only then will you be ready to enter these sacred halls. Fortunately, I have all the map markers, because this genius just decided to send me to the other side of the map. Who the hell does rituals on the other side of the place they settled in? Come on! Anyways, inside all we're gonna have to deal with is Myrlurks, Lurks, probably Swamp Lurks, yep. And that's it, there's not gonna be a queen or anything like that. All we gotta do is come to this Mega Punga and collect some seeds and we're gonna do the mushroom test. So we're either gonna get very dead, very high, or just well fed. You found the Schmaltech Limited Edition Bubblehead. The inscription on the base says, tss, tss, walked right into another trap. Exactly, how stupid are you? Oh great, I'm roasting myself in a bad in trip. Strength. This is one situation you're not gonna be able to fight your way out of. What a messy, messy mind you've got here. I'll see if I can't tie it up for you. Endurance. Keep it up, you're almost there. Wherever there may be. Probably nowhere. I think we need therapy. That's what I think we need. Oh! They got... They got the, the saw animation as well. Nice. Oh, that means they also... Uh, yep. Oh! That cool, though. Oh, the crying fits so well, because in the... In the original, it's because you were a baby when your mother died. And in this one, your baby got... An Uber delivery. Isn't it funny how everything you get close to ends up leaving? Yeah, it's it's so funny, so funny. You're doing well, quite well indeed. Most dishes are making this far enough. Okay, this is the one where everything's upside down, so... Agility, right? Percep perception, my bad. This doesn't look right. Not right at all. Really? I'm transcending, bro. I see, you couldn't really think of a joke to include your son, that's father. Charisma. Oh, that's me, that's not even Nate, that's me. Okay. Blech. If my spouse looked like that, I'd abandon them too. <laughs> oh, it fits this character so well. Father. Oh, father just left. I'm sorry, son. Preston Garve. I don't really care about Preston, though. Elder Maxon, even less. And Desdemona. Okay, just one of every faction. Okay, then. Oh, hey, it's Megaton's nuke. And luck. Dead spouse. Life in a post-nuclear wasteland. And not a friend in it. Yeah, you're not exactly blessed. Congratulations, my dear. You're gonna pull through and everything will be right as rain. Wow, this high is so meta. Hey there. No, no, don't get up yet. 
You'll only hurt yourself. What? You are welcome to our tribe. This better just be Yoka and not a sex cult, you know. Truly, the Mother Punga has bestowed her wisdom upon you, and your mind has been expanded. What the fuck kind of name is Jimson? For a time, we feared your mind had journeyed too far from your body, and you had departed our world. But you returned to us again, at long last. Yea, though your body will bear the scars of the ritual, your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcomed in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened sister! The Panga Power Perk has been added. You now receive better effects from the Panga Fruit. And, uh, I'm sorry if there's a Jimson out there. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a common name. And I'm a foreigner, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. L let me just use that to, uh... Ah, what am I doing? Surely even Jimsons of this world will understand. Now, where's Nad Nadine? Hi. Looks like another newbie in the tribe. And still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one. What do you mean? Do the others just OD or... You still remember your name. Hope. Math? Logarithms How's your memory? suck. When I came back, there were bits in my memory where all I could recall was a white light and a jumble of voices. Crazy, huh? But you're not drooling, so you're doing okay. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. Why would you cut my head open? You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual? After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, he rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back, but that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so... Welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. My face is this way. It's all a little fuzzy for me, but I've got a hunch. I'm gonna go do some snooping, see what I can figure out. Meet me by the riverboat in a day or so, and maybe I'll have something for you. All right, I do have something for you. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma. Even if she does make me want to claw out my eyes sometimes. It's just... I came out here to find a fortune. To make my mark. To be able to bring home something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually. Just not quite yet. I, I know my character is ugly, but I... Seriously, You're a lucky one. Look at and me. And it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own, and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now, hold still, and I'll see if I can't help you look like your old self again. Girl, you're making me think of Kate, and I know you're not Kate, so just please give me a face that I can look at. I guess you mean Jackson. He speaks the word of enlightenment at us, but he ain't fit to lead a song. Much less this bunch of morons. I've been meaning to talk to him about this place. But he's off doing his meditation uh, thing. Uh, okay. Well, where can I find Jackson? Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear, that stuff pisses me off so much. I thought joining would be all drugs and magic. But it's just the same crap as everywhere else. Guess that's why I trailed Jackson to his stupid mystery cave. Yeah, well, speaking of mysteries, ooh. I've only been here a week or so, but I'm about ready to ditch this bunch of dummies. I already stole all the punga I could ever need. Hey, if you still want to know where Jackson's hiding, I can help you out. No reason for me to give a damn about this place, you know? His cave's under the cathedral. But it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. Thank you, Kate's cousin. Hi. Desmond. You infiltrated his tribals yet? I did. Can we start the violence now? And you didn't go track him down and grill him for information. I'm not your daddy. Don't waste your time checking in. 
Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. The game didn't give me the option to. And you know what? Now I'm not in a hurry. Hey, Nadine. Hey there. Hey, just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls. And you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of this boat now. Tobar? Really? Yeah. Looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the punga seeds gassed them. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for punga fruit to trade. Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under a citizen's arrest. Sorta. What a bastard! Also, better busty yeah. than busted. He seemed nice enough, didn't he? I wouldn't have figured it out if I hadn't snuck into his engine room while waiting for you. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look, if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love, preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. Okay, uh, what's next for you? First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn if I hadn't earned that adventure I came out looking for. I think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like, and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. I should have waited before going to Dudwich. Yeah, enough gabbing. Let's move. Damn right I'm gonna move. I want my piece of brain back. And Tobar's gonna die. Isn't my favorite traveler. And oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? Why? Why? Just tell me why. Murder? Really, what would your father say? I thought he raised you better than that. You had an awful lot to say about him when you were unconscious. And from the sound of it, he'd be very, very disappointed in what you've become. Sounds like he didn't spank you enough as a kid. Maybe I can make up for his lost time. Yeah, it doesn't really have the same impact that it does on Fallout 3. And there we go. Grifter's Fit, is that unique? Well, it is unique. Oh, it's so bad. It's unique, it's just not something you'd like to keep. Familiar piece of brain. For some reason, blah blah blah. Yeah, take it. Grey Matters perk. <laughs> Less 10% damage when being hit in the head. Amazing, though. Yeah, that's just for show. Can't really go in there. Well, back to the right sea top. We're gonna go to the sea cave. We're gonna meet... Ah, oh, what's his name? <laughs> ah, the second protagonist. Collect frog? Why do I have a captured frog? Now I want all of them. Oh, they're so cool. No longer shall its mystical powers be diminished. At last! Yes! Desmond will die, and our long struggle will finally end the only way it could have, with me as the victor! Yes, and you will be able to spread your knowledge across the astral plane, for all those wise enough to accept it. No, not astral knowledge, you simpleton! Psychic domination! And that, and that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's jamming device. No need to worry, Enlightened One. We shall reconsecrate the mansion and remove the impurities obstructing your perfect guidance. Yes, fine. Go destroy the house and its impurities. Just stop that jammer, and I'll be free of you morons once and for all. Yes, we shall be free of all limitations. Thank you, Master. We shall be the instrument of your mighty real. Hey, uh, sorry to Hello? interrupt. You are a fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps. What brings you here? I need to see what you and your little cult are up to. I may be the man who leads our physical affairs, but I cannot claim true wisdom. I take my orders from my higher master. Whether it be how to explore higher planes, or the decision to remove the destructive ghoul. All wisdom comes from the transcendent master. 
Oh, how useless can you be? Can I, uh, meet the master? It is very rare that others are permitted to commune with the master. Many are too foolish to understand the great truths of his higher mind. But I sense in you great potential. Perhaps you have what is needed to accept his teachings and grow from his wisdom. He manifests here, high on a ledge in the great sea cave's well. Seek him out, and all shall be revealed. I'll be the judge of that. So if you could, uh, leave. Let's see. So, you're the mouse that was scurrying around here. Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. Uh, that's guaranteed. Anyways, what the hell are you? What you are interacting <laughs> with is merely a holographic projection, and a clumsy one at, at that. But it's all I can manage at the moment. As for myself, you gaze upon one of America's greatest minds. Preserved through the miracles of science. Much more elegant than shambling on as some rotting corpse for all eternity, don't you agree? Not gonna complain about the audio, cause at least we have some. At the moment they've had no use at all, but I have very few options. They can't even seem to remove a single ghoul from a house. Yeah, they can't even take you literally. So, uh, what's up with the ghoul? More than you could possibly imagine with your squishy pink mind. But the only pressing matter at the moment is a device in his possession. He has a jammer that limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that and I can extend my reach so much further. Killing Desmond would be a nice plus, but I'm sure we can get around to that later. So, you're the reason that the tribals attacked the mansion? Of course I did, but that moron thought it was one of his adult visions. The real goal was to destroy the ghoul's jamming device. Honestly, those fools aren't worth the meat they're made of. A minion that can't follow directions is no use at all. <laughs> True. Yes, away with you. Away with me then. Bye bye. Bye bye, buddy. So back to Desmond, so we can choose between two rude assholes. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> What's up? I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out. And this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. So, are you going to address the brain thingy? Him. I should have known. My old rival. So close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man. Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland. Back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with a dog forced him to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. That still doesn't explain the situation. Calvert is my old rival. Centuries we've played this game. I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. I knew he was here. And it is my intent to find him, and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. Thank you, Desmond, for once again telling me what's supposed to be figurative. I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? You know, there better be an amazing reward. Nothing but the best for people who stay in my good graces. Now you're ready to stop whining and listen. Oh, trust me, it's all I want in the world right now. So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So, he's off somewhere broadcasting to them. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to them, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find this squishy little worm and finish him off for good. Would you like to keep ranting, or want to go over the plan? If I know Professor Calvert, and I do, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. 
I have the perfect device to jam up his little talk box. All you need to do is take you to the highest point on the shore and install it. Easy, right? <laughs> What's with the audio levels? Anyways, Big Wheel, install right, something. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now go. He was right. It does sound easy. It is I, Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. <laughs> but aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in a nearby trash conductor, and we will never have to worry about it again. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed up old library. Sorry, but he has promised good loot and you haven't, so that's how I'm gonna use ethics on this one. You yep. fool! What have you done? You will pay for this! Pay! No one betrays me! Do you under- And you will suffer this! You I- uh, <laughs> Oh shut up, I can't even hear you, you're breaking up. Although, you're gonna suffer this. That was funny. Okay, so the bad news is I don't really have an amazing weapon to hit the guys on the roof. But the good news is I have plenty of grenades. So, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Right, right. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why? Why would you ragged all my precious hope for so long? And really, do we need mushroom clouds for that sort of explosion? <sighs> Lovely. Okay, I'm not seeing the hatch. I know that Desmond has escaped. Ah, there you are. Let's see. And if I'm not mistaken, this begins the last quest. Desmond. That bastard! That bastard! He killed my pups! Oh. Nearly killed me! For what? He doesn't have a body to fucking do it himself, so he tried to blow me up! Me! Well, this ends today. Desmond Lockhart will finally win out. I know where he is. He overplayed his hand this time. You and me are going to walk in there and end this. He killed the dogs! I'm with you on this one. Thank God we agreed, because now I do it for free. He's got a lab under there, the little fuck. Right under my nose the whole time. I found it when he boosted his signal to try get through the jamming. When he sent those tribals to kill my poor pups. He's down there hiding behind robots and machines, sucking life. Pathetic. He dies now. You're goddamn right. So, into the lighthouse and the floor should... Oh, open a passage? It was a much bigger passage on Fallout 3. Hey, yo, robots, what are you doing? He only said destroy Desmond. Not me. Oh, is that Calvert? Already? Oh no, it's not okay. I knew he'd try this. You say that, but you didn't warn me or... Uh, like I was saying, but you didn't warn me or make a plan for it. Come on. And you say you knew. Arrogant prick. Oh hey! Robobrain sentry. Right. If I remember correctly, there's gonna be like three or four Robobrains. And only two security level clearances. Well, the fourth one might be after Calvert. Oh, we'll see. So this one has nothing. There's plenty of good loot right over here. Oh, another one. Another one. Didn't you listen? He said destroy Desmond, not Desmond and everyone he's with. Ugh. Okay, then. Oh, great. Where's the key? No, oh, there's no key. Oh, there's Calvert. You were coming or... Fine, I will then. How dare you violate my inner sanctum. I demand you exterminate Desmond at once. Why would I do that? He is my enemy and you will be rewarded. I'm going to be rewarded either way, and you killed his dog. This is a rivalry that has lasted for centuries. You cannot possibly understand with your tiny, meaty brain. Creatures of great power must collide. 
It is inevitable. Destroy Desmond. Help me to end this, and I will give you a reward beyond your imagination. No, I, I've made my mind. So I'm just gonna break your tank with then my knife. you shall die along with him. I, I don't think so. No. That's not the plan. <laughs> and it just explodes. I don't think Desmond has caught up just yet. You're still here, are you? What? Hey. At last! Oh, okay, fine. The wall is rid of that sniveling, disgusting, arrogant brain. Think of it. Everything he learned, everything he had. It's all here, and it's all mine. Mine! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Not everything. You, you did promise me More the reward. One. You cannot possibly comprehend what this is worth. I've been battling with Calvert for over 200 years. And now, at last, I am the victor. And now, 200 years of technology, knowledge, and research that he stole from me every time he beat me. It doesn't matter now. Yeah, well, good for you. I, uh, I want some of it. You're free to take whatever you find in this disgusting place. What I came for is of no interest to you. Enjoy your spoils. I don't think our paths will ever cross again. And I think we can both thank Christ and say hallelujah for that. Reward Voltki added. Okay, so the first thing I want to take is Calvert's brain. Oh, we, we truly can just like... Oh, I was just going to interact with it. We can actually take it? <laughs> oh, okay, okay then. Reward Vault, is that you? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you actually thanked me. Okay then. So let me just take care of everything. The one true reward is the microwave emitter. Those thoughts are god awful but my build is not for energy weapons so i'll just give it the benefit of the doubt now let's go back to the settlement that i haven't been able to make work but i will find a way meanwhile let me just build a little something in that house and once i'm done you'll get the tour well you'll get the tour uh right now just gotta build it but for you is now and i'm done Anyways, it's just a little something, don't expect too much, I didn't go above and beyond. Only used vanilla and this mod's uh, options. I also have some free creation club stuff like the rugs, that one's the original though. But we have some noodles, a coffee cup, I left the kitchen all original. You can actually open the, the cabinet doors and put stuff inside, I didn't feel like going to buy plates and stuff. So yeah, pretend it's just a house I'm putting for sale in the Fallout 4 market. We have a clock, some moonshine, America lives in you, we have a nice trash can, probably the fanciest thing around, the quote-unquote all-in-one workbench, the pine-sized slasher mask we got, some American memorabilia, two mannequins, one with a Chinese stealth suit, the other has an advanced radiation one, and a cozy little bedroom. If you spit from this drive, you may be removed from the park. That was just too funny not to do. Anyways, frog, toth, and brain. Mmm, lovely. A place for bobbleheads, magazines. We have our desk with some jet, mantats, and the follow three stealth boy. Containers, a nice bath. We even have a Nuka Quantum. And for show, we have the dismemberer and the double barrel shotgun in the bathroom. We have a curtain, well, a towel, and I redid the plumbing, kinda. Some more humor, and I cannot get the workshop to work, but you can. Took me a while, but I found a workaround for the bug. The command is on the screen, and you can use it to own the workshop that way. Just be sure to click the workshop. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like building right now, but I do want to go through every single option that the mod gives us. We got some chairs, the longest dining table we'll never need, a moonshine distillery, that's pretty cool. You can just put it down, and you won't have to do anything, it'll just have three moonshines on it. I don't know, maybe it will uh, replenish every day, I'm not sure about the time. I didn't test it, but... Just know you don't have to gather ingredients. That's the workbench, that's 
quote-unquote all-in-one, it's the three options you've seen earlier. The planter is just a vase. Really, we got some dolls, some bone sculptures that look a lot like Raider stuff, they're really cool. I'm gonna go in depth uh, a little later. Let me just try and do a little nice entrance. Especially because, as you can imagine, I'm seeing this for the first time. It's not like the, the house has all the options, as you would have outside. You can have a mounted frog. Oh, you can have one of each for the swamp folk. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, Yeah, that does it. Now, the panga thing, planter, is... Like I said, it's just a face. You can put it there. You can also put it on the floor, but... I suppose that looks nicer. You also have the option to do the, the wild ones. No reason to do that. And something hilarious I found is uh, you can store the body. I don't know where, how, when, whatever. Where we can use it or place it. And that applies to the hay as well. I have placed one of each and every single item we can get from this mod on the settlement. So you can see how it looks. And I know it's not the best lighting, but it's not like I'm going to install an overhaul mod just for that, or just spam lanterns or whatever, so... It's really just for you to see how things look, and... I think it's gonna be very self-explanatory, so... That should be a nice end for a very long video, I hope you appreciate it. Make no mistake about it, this mod is very, very much recommended, it's amazing. The lines of dialogue are not leveled, but that's the only criticism, and honestly... I'll take this over no voices whatsoever. In fact, everything's perceivable, it's just a bit funny. Oh, and I'd like to give a huge shout out to Steve Whittle and John Walker for their support of the channel. Thank you so much for having patience in my dumb ass that's just trying to learn how to edit better. I do have some amazing ideas coming up, so stay tuned. Anyways, I'm Kain, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope I'll see you on the next one, and I hope you have a good one. Feel free to like if you enjoyed the video, feel free to dislike if you didn't. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to get more of me in your feed. And that's it. Bye. Oh damn, she's sexy. I never knew perfection had a name. Hope. Cause with that face, she's sure gonna need some. But I love her nonetheless. Yeah, have hope.